So we are in Times Square, the new compassionate male. My name is Clay Boykin, and I am in search of the new compassionate male. In Times Square. I believe in the midst of these incredible times of change, a new compassionate male is emerging as the new archetype. This is called Wicked Equity, and it's celebrating 31 augmented reality monuments that were made in March. Uh, 2022 and will continue to be showcased until March 2023 to honor and champion gender equity statues in, in New York City, to make people visible in spaces that we don't have visibility. And we invited some gender equity representatives, including the amazing Clay Boykin, <laughs> with Search of the New Confession of Mail, we have Mark Green with the Remaking Matter. We have Patrice Miller, may I have you on camera for a second? This is Patrice Miller. Patrice did an incredibly moving piece about femicide called In the Pines. It's an excerpt from the Pines. So we championed that and the different conversations around gender equity that's needed. And we have poets, we have the Jerry, the gender equity reconciliation people, folks performing, uh, speaking earlier too, which is very important. Yeah. We also have King Downing, who runs the radio station at 6 a.m. in the blue t-shirt there, interviewing Carla Gannis. Carla is one of the AR monument sculptures, and she did a piece called Gary Balda, uh, counteracting Gary Baldi. So our Italian namesake, fighting the patriarchy. That's wonderful. So are you on 42nd Street right now? I am on 42nd, Times Square. Oh my goodness. Well, I tell you, what a wonderful event that is. So you have 31 statues around, around the city, and you are using the phone, okay, and so people can see that. It's designed to spark a conversation about who are these statues of men that surround us. And it's not the anti-male campaign or the tear the statue down campaign per se. Maybe some should be taken down, maybe not. But it's the campaign of what surrounds us on the streets. We're about what statues exist, why they exist, and why don't we have other statues and more gender inclusive figures. And what's really interesting for me is that a lot of students, right, academic students that study this stuff, really subconsciously believe that if we were to put more statues of other people up, we would be changing history as if there weren't any women when Columbus arrived, invaded, like as if that wasn't there. So it, meaning statues and monuments really take up our subconscious in a way that I don't think we really think about on a daily basis. And that's what this campaign is all about. And so what you're intending to do is yeah. to give more of a complete story that both men and, and women yeah, we're exactly. both wounded by the patriarchy and yeah. that, um, you know, that's our common, that's our common ground. And if we can recognize that and see one another in a different light, then we have hope. If we can heal the relationships between women and men, then we can heal this planet. But here we have... A boy alone, being good and fearing others. The title could also have been Band of Brothers mm -hmm. uh, because it's about the boy alone, like the lone wolf. And it's about the end of the lone wolf, you know, like through men's circles, like to, to find each other, support each other. Thank you for joining us in Times Square, Clay Boykin. I was born, boy alone.